Passepartout in French means go everywhere. Moi, je passe partout. Je vais partout. So in French means really something that goes everywhere. I took it literally and I traveled and I've seen different things and I tried to depict those things uh, in, in the frame of, of the passepartout in a picture, in a photography. But I also tried to depict my feeling while I was looking at this subject uh, in the passepartout through drawings. That way the viewer could hopefully feel the same as me. I've been in quite a few places around the world and I have always been intrigued by specific imageries that others would not necessarily find intriguing. So um, I took pictures of the ropes, I took pictures of a tree and of course when I was a child my family was always upset by that because I didn't take any picture of the actual people that were on a holiday with me for instance. But those were things that inspired me and I used the passepartout that uh, is used to frame that picture to continue the object uh, that I photographed. So um, in order to express something that that object triggered, to, it triggered into me. And then uh, after I finished that piece, I would look at it and then try to translate the meaning of, of this uh, framed picture uh, into a scarf, into a carré, one meter and a half by one meter and a half. And, uh, and like that I could bring back the idea of going everywhere the passepartout world has. So passepartout is, uh, is the title of this collection because it's not only the piece that I use the, the cardboard piece that I used to paint on to create a transition with photography and the imaginary world, but it's also what you're doing uh, when you wear the scarf that is being inspired by that piece. And so um, Passepartout is something that uh, uh, we all do. We all go around, we all walk, we all uh, see things and uh, my hope is that through my art people will take a second look at things that are normally invisible so that's the meaning of the the whole project that's the meaning of uh, the word passepartout for me when I translate it to the canvas of cashmere that is a scarf, uh, cashmere silk, I then use specific colors that require a totally different technique because of course it absorbs, the, the fabric in this case absorbs the color much faster, it's much harder to control the shadows and um, therefore I, I paint uh, in a more delicate way also to represent the feeling of this fabric because the fabric is seamless, it's so light, it's almost transparent, you will see uh, how you wear it and you don't feel it on your neck almost and therefore it's very delicate to paint. While you paint on it with uh, the brush you are actually moving the, all the, the fabric and uh, with it you're moving the threads and the structure of the fabric changes just because of the of the of the strength of the gesture of a stroke of uh, of a line or the color the weight of the color will change the consistency of it so there's many many elements um, but ultimately when when it's over it's so uh, rewarding to see something that um, that people can wear proudly and once the art piece is done, I try to translate that thought 
into a wearable thought. The material uh, I use is a cashmere silk blend, extra fine, seamless. It is uh, untangible, invisible almost, because my subjects are invisible. I always try to express with my art something that you would not see straight away in your day-to-day -day routine to give you a chance to look again and think further. And this is not only expressed through the painting on the scarf, but it's expressed also by the material itself. Of course, it has been very hard finding a material that reflected these uh, characteristics. Uh, we went to Biella uh, and we developed with a famous manufacturer there that produces material for, for as famous brands uh, in a city. And, um, and with that, um, we managed to express the meaning that the subjects of my paintings have also through the material, so invisible things made visible.